Hello there, Jose Rodriguez here. In this video I'm going to share with you a project that I did several years ago where I actually built a working milling machine out of cannibalized parts. I actually used my small Asian drill press in order to machine some of the components for this little unit that you see here. It was made out of um, existing parts. This is an XY table that I bought this is a controller for a variable speed DC motor that you see here. This actually came out of a scroll saw that basically wasn't operating uh, as it should. The linkages were just bad. I use a TEG micro lathe spindle or headstock with pulleys from the TEG system. The TEG system uses, uh, if you're not familiar with it, uses 3 quarter sixteenth accessories and here I have an arbor with a 3 8 inch end mill a 4 fluted end mill now it operates perfectly well I created stops for the X travel the Y travel that you see here and I'm using a simple vise normally used in drilling uh, or drill presses the Y-Advance is screw fed from above, one revolution advances a hundred mils. It has a lock so that once you set it you can lock it in place and lock the spindle and motor assembly so that it does not move whatsoever. It has the accuracy of about one thousandth of an inch. I have already determined that and I just want to Turn it on for you. It operates flawlessly. Let me tell you, I use this machine to build many of the components that I show on my various videos that I sell through LittleMachineShop.com. And this little puppy is awesome. It works as good as any other small micro lathe out there. And built basically from parts that would have been trashed. Anyway, so I just wanted to share this with you so that you can see what you can actually do if you really uh, set your mind to it. Um, all of these things were just going to be tossed. I actually used the column is a um, the bed of a tag lathe. It has a dovetail steel bed on it, and the headstock simply rides on that along that dovetail. And that's basically it. I have a a video that I call the milling machine and its uses and I use this very machine to create a dovetail block that is used on a quick change tool post that I designed and I actually show its construction on that DVD. So until the next time, thank you for watching. Bye bye.